morning, good morning guys. Greetings from Pune, India. It's Sam and David of David's Been Here. How are you doing, man? I'm very good. We are ready to devour some awesome Indian breakfast. We're gonna be doing a tour of a few famous places here. It's Vuhuman yeah. Cafe. Thanks, man. 40 knew, years. <laughs> 40 years. They've been in operation for 40 years. They have a few famous dishes inside and some also some specialty chai. So we're gonna just head in and like, let's get after it, man. Let's do it. Burdia. Your egg burdi is coming. It takes more time. No. Oh, it takes more time. Test, test, test one. Oh, test one. Butter toast. Butter toast. Butter toast. Oh, okay. Butter toast. They apply butter on it. That okay. is it. Have, have one piece. You have, have one. one oh, piece. have one. I get one too. Thank you. Thank you very much. The best toaster mm. Oh, it's just like drowning in butter, dude. Yeah, literally in butter. It's so good. How was it, dude? This piece has very little butter, but still a lot of butter. Oh. I love the crunch, and it really is like just bathed in butter. It is. Mm. This is. Sweet bun, sweet bun. They apply butter on it. Oh, okay. they cut it. Okay, so here we have some bun butter. Oh my god, look mm. at that. So nice of them to share it, huh? Guys, thank you. Thank guys, you. you guys. Yeah, you have. You do have. You guys are very nice. Thank yeah, you. No, no. Thank you. So Wahuman Cafe is one of the older places in Pune, and it's known for their uh, Persian influenced tea, uh, the Irani chai. Uh, it's kind of famous across uh, India, but then uh, here in Pune. People love it out here. So, you know, the line starts way across. I had to find a parking way down the street. So, oh, wow. it is always packed. And, uh, you know, you just swerve around and you'll see that people are, you know, with their bun maskas and uh, tea. Bun maska, maska literally translates into butter. Oh, wow. So, uh, so bun and maska is something that they, you know, they just uh, dip it into the tea. Alright, so what we got here, we got Irani chai. Yep. We have one egg burji. Yep. We have uh, bun butter. Yep. And we have toast butter jam. Man, look at all that. And, no, it's not the toast. And it's look at the layer of the, cheese. Yeah, look at the layer of cheese. The uh, cheese. Yeah. Yeah. The cheese is obscene, man. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen that much cheese in a sandwich before. That's as thick as the bread itself. It is. It's as thick as the bread. So all of the breakfast items have arrived and it is a feast of feasts. Like look at all the food we have. So why don't we try you wanna try this one with me together? Sure. Okay, we'll each take one. So what is this? This is a toast cheese. Toast cheese. And look at how thick the cheese is. No. Crunchiness of the bread. The smoothness of the cheese. And like the copious amount of butter, that is like a winning combo, man. And obviously a lot of calories too. <laughs> Very delicious. So this is bun masala. Bun and masala literally means butter. And look at the butter, it's like glue stuck onto the you know, bun. Wow. And then these are like the dry and candy fruits, right? Yeah. The dehydrated uh duty yeah. free, it's called duty free. A little bit of sweetness to it, and it's usually dumped into tea. I'm gonna do just that. It's like they're made for each other. Okay, so next we're trying egg burji. So it's basically scrambled egg yep. with uh, Indian spices. It has turmeric, it has uh, the red chili powder, uh, it has green chili. You can see the pieces of green chilies. Yep. It's all blended in. And, uh, and I'm feeling those spices in my mouth right now. It's very it spicy. It's oil so it all spreads across the entire plate. And uh, yeah, let's have a bite. I'm going in for some more. That's definitely spicier than I was anticipating. Really good. I feel like having this chai kind of resets my palate. So no matter what I've had, I'm kind of ready to try a different plate afterwards. It's so nice to have this with it. So I'm mixing the, the toast, cheese, butter with the uh, egg. Maybe, maybe this is going to be a, a new item on the menu. You're creating a new trend. Oh. That cheese is so fire. Wow. So good. I really, I'm really in love with this egg. I'm yeah. a big egg guy. Yeah. Like whenever I have leftovers like meat sauce or something, 
throw it in, cook it up, yeah. eggs. Eggs. Oh man. Isn't this a wonderful breakfast? It is an amazing breakfast. David, you're famous. <laughs> So next up, we've come to Good Luck Cafe. It's been around since 1935, and it is packed inside. Let's go check it out. Whoa, man, next level samosas. All the bread in the world under this cover. Look at all that bread. They love bread for breakfast, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so round two of breakfast, and look at what we've got. So we have bread. What's this dish over here? Uh, it's called the kima pao. Okay. So it's minced mutton meat. Minced mutton meat. With a lot of Indian spices. Yep. Um, and uh, so basically you're having it in one of the iconic places uh, in Pune. It's an institution since 1935. That's incredible. Yeah. When I first walked in here, I was like, this is, has a classic diner feel. Yeah. I really liked it. Like it has a cool vibe. It's packed. You had to almost wait for seats. So we're lucky to have seats and to be eating this. So how do we eat it? So just uh, take quarter of the bread. Some of the bread? Yeah. Like rip it off like yep. that? Rip it off. And then... And just scoop in uh, scoop. meat onto your other thing. Just huh? scoop it right yeah. on. Just like that, so, huh? Yeah. Right. Just fold it a little bit so that you can... Uh, okay. You, know, you can balance it a you little fold bit. Fold it like that. Into a sandwich. Yeah. Look at that. A one sandwich. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This, this is going to be messy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole thing, dude. It's the whole thing. Mm. Oh. Oh yeah. I know why you like this though. So much flavor. Spicy too. And what about the drink next to me? Oh yeah, so this is uh, bone vita. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just like the Nestle Milo, but it's more of a local version. People love it uh, when it's uh, the winter time out here. Because it's hot. Alright, so, I'm gonna try my first yeah, sip of this. That's nice. But again, like, I can't believe I'm having hot drinks on a hot day. <laughs> I'm already sweating prior to drinking this. Yeah. It was very good. I'm sure it has a soothing chocolate flavor which when it runs down it your It really throat. does. It goes down yeah. really smoothly and it resets your palate from this because that's a very strong mud dish. But very delicious. Man, like, this has been an epic breakfast tour so far. And I guess we have one more place to go. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Two places more to go. This is epic. Alright dude, you've been loving this. Oh my god, I love this dish. Your favorite, huh? Mudden, minced mudden. So go with bread. Oh, look at that. Oh my oh, gosh. Just look the at all flavors. that mutton, man. Look how rich it is. Oh my goodness. No, oh, they gave me a spoon for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Pile it in there, man. Dude. <laughs> it went down the wrong way. <laughs> it was hot for a second. Oh, they calm it down. Oh, this right is, there. This has been great so far though, huh? It's been amazing. Yeah. This is one of my favorite food tours of all time in India. Definitely. This is Definitely. like Well, I had no idea Pune had this much amazingness in the I food. Know. Thank you for showing us around so far. We really sure. appreciate it. Yeah. So that's so much of contrast in your food. When you uh, start enjoying one dish, the other dish is just completely in the opposite direction. Yeah. Yeah. So you tend to uh, you know, absorb all the things. Yeah. It sticks, uh, sticks out to your palate, so you, you know, enjoy the food more. Uh, we are hitting up Bedekas. Uh, it's a local joint for missile pound. So it's really going to hit like a missile. Oh, epic. If you want some actual good spicy stuff, if you want to like perspire once you're done eating, <laughs> you, you, yeah. you ought to have this. Right. this one, okay. Which one is it? The spicy one, the one in the small bowl. Oh, right here. 
That's the spicy one. That's the spiciest, huh? Easier for you to remember. Basically, it is a literal translation of English. Okay. Pav is Marathi, the local language. So okay. And misa, if you translate it into English, means mixture. Okay. So this is basically a mixture of everything, and the best thing to have along with it is the bread. Oh wow. So that is why in our local language we call it misa and pav. So you can dip it in the gravy also. You we can have it with the misa also. If you want to add some more tangy flavor, we have some lemons which you can squeeze. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, way too much. Oh my gosh, it started off sweet and then the spice just like powers through the throat. Try the masala. Try some of those too. With a spoon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying that. Oh. Mm. Oh. I really like that one. That one I could eat all day long. This spice is a bit too strong for my palate. That just like, whoa. That was great. If you want to get really adventurous, you just go nuts. Oh. Isn't that good? Mm. A little spicy still. I'm gaining weight for a reason. I came to <laughs> India to eat. Fat in India. First day and we already had like 12 dishes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thought, huh? Okay, so this is the main container where the gravy is prepared. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. Wow. So this at a time contains approximately 400 missiles gravy, which is like 800 bowls. 800 bowls in that. Yes. That is incredible. Whoa, look at that bubbling goodness, man. So that was an epic breakfast tour here in Pune, India. Thanks so much for taking us. Really appreciate it. If you come to Pune, you've got to try these things for sure. Ciao, guys. Ciao.